we are recording. Uh, my apologies for the low level of light in here. Uh, the garage has a, a light that's on a timer for nighttime. This is some video to clarify the still pictures. I have a very large amount of fire hose, as you can tell. Um, I am moving a very long distance in, a, in a, just a few days here, and I've been trying to get rid of a lot of this stuff, uh, just not finding the right buyers. Uh, I'm slashing prices. It's practically a giveaway. If uh, you do not purchase it, uh, I'm pretty much looking at having to uh, start chopping off couplings and sending it to the uh, scrap guy. Um, there's a really good price here. There's a lot of nice heavy stuff. Uh, the fire hose is in a really excellent condition. Um, as you can see, these uh, stacks of fire hose go pretty well down to the floor. Uh, my biggest stacks, uh, I've got about two of them right here. They're roughly about six feet tall, so you can tell just dozens of coils of hose. They're uh, all various sizes in really good condition. Um, most of these piles that you see, I got about four piles of its three inch on two and a half inch couplings. Um, these piles here, sort of kind of in the darkness, are inch and a half. Uh, on the floor over here behind me starts uh, about uh, five coils of large diameter supply hose. In the back corner with several fire extinguishers, the silver metal looking ones are the ones I'm selling. Anything red I'm keeping with the exception of the bases to mount fire extinguishers in. I do have a couple vent fans. They have already been sold. The silver cans up top, those are Indian sprayers. Uh, they use them for grass fires. Uh, put, put the water in the tank, get a little squirt thing, put the fire out. Um, again, down on the floor, I have miscellaneous uh, adapters, fittings, both homemade and factory made. Now, let's say, for example, this piece right here, you know, various threads. It, it could change threads from, say, National Standard to Akron thread. Um, it also can reduce from two and a half inches, uh, two and a half inches down to an inch and a half. Um, and, you know, pretty much uh, more of the same couplers. Uh, Maybe, by luck, one or two nozzles still remain. Uh, I've got uh, some fittings that uh, take you off at a certain about 30 degree angle. This is a fitting that they refer to as a storts fitting. have some hose that storts. I have a couple of uh, strainers for the hard suction hose, which is uh, unable to be photographed. It's sitting underneath all the big piles of hose. Um, Again, I have a problem where as I'm moving, part of the move is going to be spent some time out of the country. Uh, this stuff has to go. I cannot store it anywhere. Um, so really, uh, you know, this is nearly going to be a make an offer. Uh, it just helps keeping me from taking it to the scrapyard. If, if somebody can use it in its current condition, that would be wonderful. Um, you know, again, here is... Uh, Another adapter. Uh, most of this is stamped as to uh, what it goes, you know, diameter to diameter, what it goes to. Um, probably got about uh, a quick look around here, maybe at least a half a dozen pieces similar to this. Um, again, smaller adapters, couplers, um, spanner wrenches to operate fire hydrants. Spanner wrenches of various size to take the fire hose apart. I had collected old fire trucks, probably had at least two engines that I had completely fully stocked. So as you can appreciate, I got a whole bunch of stuff. The stretcher that you might have seen in these photos will be held out, I think, from the rest of the lot. Um, but then again, hey, I mean, money talks. You want to throw me a couple bucks for that, we'll, we'll negotiate that. But in the stretcher, this whole spaghetti noodle mess, um, it actually is a lot better off than what it looks on the surface, is all uh, very heavy duty, uh, very heavy insulated cord from the fire department, extension cords. It has, uh, let's see if I can see this here, twist lock. So once you hook it in there, it's not going to come unplugged on you. 
um, that's going to go as part of the lot. Um, so uh, happy bidding. Um, you know, no reasonable offer is going to be refused. Thank you for watching.